grieving families of some of the 157 victims of Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 mourn the loss of their loved ones. Arriving at this field where remnants of the airline are lie strewn around brings it all home for them. Airline officials say they haven't found even a single body intact, just body parts, which will make the identification process take a while. Ethiopian Airlines didn't give us anything. They told us to wait until Thursday. We waited and Thursday came. They're now saying they couldn't find anything. I wish they told us that they found nothing in the first place. This has made our grief heavy. We came empty-handed and we are going back empty-handed. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 airliner went down at 8.44 a.m. on Sunday, shortly after takeoff from the capital Addis Ababa, en route to Nairobi in neighboring Kenya. Passengers from more than 30 countries were on board. This is a time of crisis in Ethiopia. The airline is a symbol of national pride, and Ethiopians have thrown their full support behind it. Uh, Ethiopia Airlines' motto uh, from since I was a small boy was uh, bringing Africa together. And that's what they have been doing for 75 years. And evidence that the crash has done little to scare people away from the airline can be seen at the capital's mushrooming hotels. They are teeming with passengers in transit. The accident happened, yes. It's like any other accident that happens, whether on our roads or in our airspaces. Not just in Africa, globally we have those records of accidents that have happened. So as a loyal traveler and uh, a user of Ethiopian airline, that has not affected my view or perspective. Ethiopian Airlines has expanded its fleet to 111 planes. It now flies to 106 international and 23 domestic destinations. Beyond its own operations, the airline also owns a 49% stake in Malawi Airlines and 45% stake in Zambia Airways. What Ethiopian is doing is arbitraging corporate governance. They're basically coming in to a failed business, which has not failed because there was not demand. There's demand. Their passengers want to fly out of these countries. So you've got the demand. They're willing to pay. But the issue has been the mismanagement of those airlines in country. So actually, it's buying up cheap assets with strong demand and making it work. I think it's a great strategy. Back at the crash site, workers continue their search for debris and remains of those who perished in the crash. This windswept field will continue to be an international crime scene for a long time to come. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.